Welcome back to the increasingly stressful Series A. Last episode, we lost and had to abdicate to our, what are we now, three-year-old child, uh, which is obviously fantastic. I imagine the council haters, but last episode, I made a point of rearranging the realm under... In, in a way so that the most powerful vassals were the vassals that liked us the most, or giving the most the vassals that liked us the most the most power, if that makes sense. So we basically become Marmite at this stage. Half the realm helps, hates us, and half the realm um, loves us at this point, right? So we've got, like I said, our uh, three most powerful vassals here. Balerio pa pra pra Parana, Docio Seaworth, descendant of, uh, you know, Davos Seaworth, and Zolo Mirenolis. Those are our three uh, lords, the three dukes, the only three dukes within Pentos right now, and those are the ones that like us the most, thank God. And then we've got a bunch of random barons and counts and people who hate us. Uh, not that I really give too much about that. What, uh, can we revoke your title? You're just in prison, huh? Okay. Not to worry. What I do worry about, though, is firstly, our education, secondly, our marriage, and thirdly, these Dothraki who have decided to walk all the way to the Prince's Shore to raid us. Um, right, so as for an educator, we're looking for someone patient, diligent, uh, with the maester. We go for the archmaester. The archmaester of the citadel is happy to train us. And of course he is, because he's very, very good. You will educate us, and you will be a good teacher. I don't want to become, uh, an expert scientist, though, if we can avoid that. So we're obviously going to try and pick. We'll stick with Thrift, which is going to give us Curious and Fussy. And then we'll see when he's 12, because I don't really care. I'd like to get a martial commander. I really would, because that's going to be a lot of the struggles in this right now, is dealing with, uh... Dealing with martial based affairs, rebellions, restructuring the realm, expanding other realms going for us as well is going to be very difficult. We are sitting amongst a whole bunch of enemies. So this is not ideal, especially as we threaten essentially the, the whole structure of the free cities, having overthrown the government and completely uh, restructuring Pentos from the core up. She's gone. Okay. We can't control this, but basically people are going to get fired and they're going to hate us. There's nothing I can do to stop it. Kind of a dumb mechanic, but, you know, it's just CK2. A lot of Conclave is really poorly thought out, having reflected on the whole uh, we can't give away any titles because people hate us for having too many titles thing from last episode, which happens a lot, but it never occurred to me quite how stupid it was until yesterday's episode. We had to basically completely restructure the council and give out titles to everybody. We had to fire the guy we were given a, count a title to before we could give him the title. Paradox, I think there's some rebalancing needed. Anyway, get rid of the mercenaries, get rid of our troops. Let's try and just build ourselves up a little bit. We've also got winter fever to worry about as well. Um, so if, you know, we get caught by that disease, we are dead as dicks. Right, speaking of which, let's also restructure the council. Um, I'm going to put him on board, piss him off, but we're going to get another battle that likes us or likes us a little bit more. More to the point, he's, he's more skilled, so maybe there's more chance of getting taxed out. But what is the chance? 20% extra modifier, which is obviously kind of nice. Um, council's looking okay. Kind of a mixed bag. John or Stark, can we maybe give you a title? Court shooter, there we go. Um, can't really do much else. What if we give him a crown? Stannis' crown. Now, I feel like we should probably keep that, because that's, a, that's a, an old Westerosi artifact. Hand of the King is dead, so we can actually give that out to a vassal, perhaps. Um, kind of tempted to give it to this guy. There is a chance that eventually we could get him to like us. Send him a gift as well. Uh, Ward honorary title, we can't. We do anything. Why does he not like us? Putting in a predecessor. We're going to have that a lot. Until that disappears, we are a major, major threat. In fact, it's our spy master definitely scheming. Yeah, thank God. I just wanted to double check that because that is something that seriously... Whoops. I didn't mean to put you there. Uh, congratulations. You're now fired in favor of this guy. There you go. Um, I didn't mean to put him there, but... You know, scheming is going to be the one thing that will probably keep us alive. Because I imagine we've got a lot of assassins after us. We're not particularly like... The others are obviously still in full control of uh, Westeros there. Get an opinion of him. Does not matter. Oh, come on. Please. S the Scourge. The Scourge. Was this Top Bog Spoff? Please, don't mention that name. That's a curse name. We're leaving in the shy. They don't. And this is the issue, right? This is where we have no control of the game or we are just going to be fucked at every turn. At a meeting of your Regency Council, John R. Stark's position on the council was put under question. Your vassal, Lord Zolo Malenaros, called a vote to have him removed. He's been fired. He hates us for that. That's not my problem. I didn't fire you, and he's also a good spy master, the one that liked us. Now we have to hire this random woman. They're probably going to sack as well. She's actually uh, granddaughter of Robert Rath in there, as Gendry slash Edric Storm slash, depending on what you watch, his uh, daughter. Malaise. Tips for Dora. Malaise. What are we going to get? I'm glad I hired Virio. Please. D please don't be Winter Fever. I mean, it's going to be Winter Fever because that's in our capital right now. I think we're fucked, aren't we? They're going to sack him. One of our strongest vassals. He dislikes us. Opinion of us, minus 15. Not my problem, my guy. I can't control this. I'm... We've just got to wait to lose, haven't we? I, f I feel like I'm just sat here waiting to lose. Liara Stark, welcome to the council. Another powerful vassal. Send her a gift. Keep her on board. For the love of God. Who's that? Is that our sister? 
It's our half sister. Okay, fair enough. Um, we can give out titles, so that's something. There we go. Okay, you can have that. Vassal levy very too long. Well, we can't do anything about that. That's just a minus one, so I don't care too much. Um, fired from council. She's gone as well. Is this going to be the entire game? Great, so now we've got to put on a spy master who hates us or a shit spy master. This game is just out. It's just out to ruin everything, isn't it? What, what do I do? What, what do we do here? we just got to sit and be patient. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to edit out 90% of this. Because unless you guys want to see me hiring and refiring and giving out gifts to council members for the next uh, 15 years, then you're in for a bad time, huh? Uh, we'll keep in big education events. We'll keep in marriages, betrothals, anything like that. But honestly, this is going to be a ball ache for me. So I would hate to be... <laughs> Case in point right there. This game. Well, that is some good news, I guess. We did get some improved relations there, so we know that our Master of Laws is capable of doing something. He likes his and he's actually fairly skilled, so he's going to be the guy keeping it together. We need to get married, uh, or at least arrange a betrothal. So how old are we? Um, four years. Oh, we got the flu, by the way, and also got an ill treatment, so we're probably going to die in a minute. Um, thank God, and then I can finally die as well and be done with this whole goddamn series. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We're good. We're good. I can work. This, well, look, we've come out of harder situations in, uh, in CK2, right? This is just uh, it's part of the course. Right, so let's go gender lady married. No, preferably. Um, she's 20. We're four, so there's going to be a 16-year age gap. I'm looking for someone around our age. Um, the issue is none of these people are going to agree to turn up to our court. We're looking ideally for someone older or around our age so that they can get married immediately and immediately start, you know, getting down to business for the whole air thing. If we go for someone like her, well, firstly, they won't agree to it. But if we go for anyone younger, we're going to have to wait for them to come of age. And that's years wasting that uh, that Babby is not formed. Okay, well, let's give it a few years then. Oh, thank God. You are, you are a glorious man, Lord Zolo. I appreciate that. We actually did it. Glorious boy. Oh, my God. He's doing so well. Okay. Um... I, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I spoke too soon because we seem to be doing okay. We're fine. Who's our regent? Oh, the guy that hates us that our mother went to war with. Good. Um, give him a dragon egg. Give him a dragon. No, of course I'm not going to do that. Let's give give our biggest enemy to a bi give our biggest enemy our biggest weapon. That's not it's not happening. Um, we've got people in our prison. Can we ransom them out? Maybe. Uh, does that count as being merciful? What if we execute them? Does that count as being fearful? Nothing. Tyranny. What about you? Uh, release them. Nothing. So we might as well just ransom them out then, huh? Get out. Uh, we can also write about her. Now, this will be good. This will. This is what I'm going to call the, um... This is what I'm going to call the, uh... The mercenary fund for when eventually we get a war or something. Most likely a rebellion. Name pending. I'll probably work on that in between clips. But holy shit, this is horrible. What about our educators? So that's, that's obviously also important. Um, our educator is switched out. I'm going to have to keep a very close eye on that. Because that's just going to come and go every... Right, Wendell. Wendell, my friend. Wendell, the Archminister of the Citadel, train me. If anybody's good at training a kid, it's going to be Wendell. He's got four intrigues, so actually, could be a lot worse. Okay, so the next fun thing we've got to look forward to as well, I believe it's when he's five. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, well, it should be happening now. It's either five or six. We get the Targaryen coin flip event because we became a legitimate High Valerian household with the blood of the dragon, um, which, if we check our bloodlines, I'm sure is definitely working. Uh, there, oh, wow, I'm actually genuinely a little bit surprised there. Blood of the dragon. Dragon hatching, dragon tame enchantment, prestige, all that garbage. Um, Lyanna starts Targaryen, of course, the founder. What was that? Our aunt? Yeah, okay. So that gives us access to... Well, you, you can choose for this happening or not. I think we did it, what, two episodes ago now? We get either... Fuck off. I'm just trying to explain the game. Come on. Um, fine. You know what? Welcome aboard. Even though I hate you, welcome aboard. Oh, God. Did I make him a Master of Whisperers? No, who did I make him? Um, advisor? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, um... More to, the, more to the point, when we become six years old, we get coin flip, and that will either give us a good trait or a bad trait. Uh, it's generally mental, so we'll either become like a paranoid, wrathful, lunatic, blah, blah, blah. Or we can become genius, or quick, or shrewd, or something like that, or diligent. So any of those would be great. Um, issue a rep reprimand. We're not paying people's loans. We've already got a loan of our own to pay off, haven't we? So we should probably do that before we piss off Bravos. Um, repay loan. We good? We are good. Nothing to worry about, team. Okay. That is fine. Here we go. The co this is what I was talking about. The Madison Gretz are two sides of the same coin. Every time a Targaryen is born, the gods toss the coin and the whole world hold its breath to see how it will land. This could be good. Good luck, team. What do we get? Paranoid. <laughs> paranoid? Fine. I mean, it's more likely that we're not going to be assassinated with paranoid, huh? That's something. Wouldn't we? We wouldn't really be a true... Stark Targaryen here, given our given given crazy day Nora Stark, our mother, who I feel like we're following in her footsteps a little bit. Oh, someone else has been sacked. Haha, <laughs> funny, 
Pony, I wish you guys would just make your freaking mind up. Who are you? Barafoss. Uh, he's very good, but is he worth the 40 gold? No, that's my mercenary money, thank you. Tried mercenary work? Might suit you. Uh, let's go for collect taxes too. Thank you. Oh. oh. Piss off this many vassals. Wait, uh, this guy. Lord Freeholder Callan. How do we make him like us? Um, Lord Freeholder Callus. If we do this one. Where is he? Lord, am I... Oh, right there. King Lamelis. Opinion changed by minus 10. Yeah, no, we should do that. If we don't do that, we're going to risk uh, losing all of our vassals. This guy's been stealing. Luckily, we've got it straight back, which is quite kind of nice. Obviously, it didn't come out of our pocket anyway, so that's just bonus as far as I'm concerned. Fuck the peasants. We need that gold for mercenaries. 10 out of 10. The man that our mother went to war with who is still in his dungeon. Lord Freeholder Cannon of the Velvet Hills. As you ride through the empty corridors of your castle on your trusty wooden stick horse, you come across your regent, Lord Freeholder Cannon of the Velvet Hills, getting some fresh air on the balcony with his back turned against you. 50% chance we wound him. 50% chance he dies. Kill him. Fuck. Now he's mad as hell. God damn it, because we pushed him off the balcony and he survived it. Well, he might die because he's also depressed and a lunatic and burnt, which I assume is a health minus. Please die. Sack from the council. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Court physician gone. And now we've got to hire a new court physician as well. You are really helping the realm here. Why sack a physician? I thought we genuinely got an other turn up as our... Uh, oh god, we got a sorcerer. A shadow binder from a shy. Welcome. She actually seems very good. I will take a shadow... A shadow binder of a shy in our service seems kind of top tier, to be honest. Let's try and keep her around. Maybe she can blast my enemies with shadow children. Okay. Things are fine. How old are we, more importantly? And how are we doing in terms of education? We've got Paranoid with six intrigue. We might end up being a good intrigue character here, and I feel like that's the way the cookie's going to crumble, huh? Um, Rael has pneumonia. I guess just bad lungs and coughing fits run in the family. Let's go for... Thrift? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we could also marry her. That's an opportunity. Uh, something we could we could go for. Being classic Stark Targaryen High Valyrian. Ten oh, actually, we might not be able to because of our religion. Uh, nope, not allowed. I think it's just Targaryen and Blackfire dynasties that are allowed to do that. Um, corporate court position. Keep going. But we are going to marry off matrilineally, obviously, because our household has fallen apart here. And actually, the mat matrilineal marriages we did before saved the campaign. Wait, now? Oh, no, no, because I went a betrothal rather than a marriage, huh? Um, we could marry her. We'll see how she comes out. I, I would rather get, uh, I would rather get wise genius, something like that, into the family rather than just the divine blood. I don't really care too much about that, to be honest with you. So, uh, if anything, it's just a negative because our vassals won't like it. We get the abomination of incest. We have to worry about brooding or intrigue. Um, both are good for an intrigue build. Obviously, intrigue is good because it's intrigue. Uh, brooding is good because it leads to many intrigue things. Brooding is just wrath, selfish, or envious, and gives intrigue plus one anyway. So I don't know why you wouldn't say that. I guess just in case you. Took an education where brooding didn't work, so like diplomacy, for example, you might not. But for us, I feel like the murderer of Pentos might be rising up here. Well, Balassa has been good at tutoring me. She's been a good teacher, gained temper, and two stewardship. Is she our educator? No, she's just our court tutor, huh? Interesting. Uh, and she's set to serve courts. Well, oh shit, we need to get our master at arms training children with a sword. You need to teach to combat. He's only a trained fighter. We might be able to kill him. During oh god. I humbly ask you to intervene on behalf of the aggression against Lord Freeholder Bicerin. Uh, this is our battle we set up. Please say yes. Council vote in favour. That's good. I will have... Okay, he's going to stop his war. That's good because this vassal likes us and I don't want him to be overthrown. They're going to sack someone though. Belson. Beslon. Whatever. Um, Cadho. Surely... Who hasn't been sacked from the council at this stage? I've got to ask. Uh, do we have any honorary titles to go out? No, we give him 15 gold. Apparently we already have at some stage. The chance that he's been sacked and bought back. Okay, with proper leverage, we could ask our regent to not conspire with factions, which is going to give a... Okay, no, he doesn't care. Um, she's been sacked. Our, our Shadowbinder's gone again. Um, fuck me. This is just garbage, isn't it? And now we can't hire another court physician because we've done it recently, right? Brilliant. 10 out of 10. Your Grace. Oh, it's Lucerus Valerian of House Valerian. So these were one of the few houses that went with House Targaryen to go land in Westeros. Um, what happened to them? King of the Stepstones. Oh, right. Orin Valerian there. Uh, Salador San. I assume not the Salador San, surely. Surely he'd be hundreds of years old at this point. 43. By Sono? Sal no, no, no. It's, it's original Salador San's grandson. Right. Okay, good. Um, I was going to say, that's not right at all. Give him some coin. No, I'm not acting against Pirate King Saladol, despite the fact you're a fellow High Valerian. I'm not going to do that. That's that's absolute madness. That's not happening. Um, we need to call position as soon as possible, because not having this is going to mean that uh, we our education is going to be hampered quite massively. Look for a position. What do I do then? What do I do? 
I can't do anything. We're just going to miss out on education points because my councils are shit. Sure. Okay. It's 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 representing realism. And it's it's adding some realistic intrigue council mechanics to the background of gameplay. Hey, you know what's not representing realism? Look how fast these days go by. I think that would be a good realism feature. 24 hours past every real 24 hours. That would be good for realism too. That would also be complete garbage, just like this mechanic as well. Um, what do you, what do you, my mother, I don't want her back, keep her, that 110 gold is way more valuable to me than a washed up 52 year old. When she dies though, we will get her artifact, so hopefully she'll just die in his dungeon, that'll help speed up her death too, fingers crossed. You could just execute her, be fine with that, if you want to kill her, she's in the southern step stones now apparently, just kill her. Like genuinely, I'll kill her dead and we'll take it, we'll take her stuff back, that'd be great. Well I went and hired a whole bunch of randomers just to see if any could become a court physician, just because like I said, we're missing out on that education, I'd rather not if you don't mind. Right, send her a gift. Please don't sack her. She is good. She is a good educator. We've still got the Archmaester teaching us apparently the ways of stewardship and intrigue. So we're going to become a good ruler. Bad at diplomacy, but who needs, you know, words when we've got a knife apparently. So uh, that'll work in our favor. We've apparently already got kills too? Oh, died in our dungeons. Okay, that's okay. I was going to say, how the hell is this eight-year-old kid? Well, that's cheered me up a little bit, I guess. To the Hyvalerian Boar Malus. May your years be short and miserable. This is a formal declaration of war from Kohor. High Priest... Baldarico, the true faith order. Oh, sorry, Norvosh. Not, uh, not, not Kohor, they're further away. They worship a goat. These guys worship an axe, which is far more reasonable. Sort of idiot will worship a goat. Cake and wine. Those are our house words, by the way. Um, honor him with nothing. Uh, sorry, can't afford it. We've got a war to go against. What are they after? Slave raid? Claim on the seven stars. Shit, they're actually going for land. I wasn't expecting that. Um... Deus Vault? Is that the right words? I, no, we say house words, which is, of course, cake and wine. Um, let's do it. Let's, 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 let's stop them. We can stop them, boys. We've got 294 of those glorious, glorious mercenary dollars. Bring the troops together in the Pentoshi capital. We've got 8,000 men. 8,000 lambs to the slaughter. We're not a dragon rider, are we? Hang on, a mother's still alive. Does that mean she's still got control of her dragon? She does. Tormoxin, my cousin, naturally. Um, <laughs> this is so confusing because it's Daenerys's... Yeah, because we are Daenerys' great-grandson, and that's Drogon's... This is confusing. This is very... No, Daenerys is just regular grandson, aren't we? Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm lost. I'm very lost with some of the some of the way the characters have, uh, have uh, ended up in this. Okay, what was that gold? I just got some gold. Oh, was it this guy? Uh, great arm increasing infrastructure. Fantastic. Uh, just what I wanted to hear. How about Pentos, though? Oh, God, wow, they are not taking any prisoners, huh? They just turn up and immediately grab the war goal without so much as even batting a friggin' eye. This is what happens when you have a whole priest of uh, a whole order of axe priests. Okay, holy orders they can't. I don't have piety. Could we hire them though? Let's wait till we get fifty piety. Then I'm in. Oh god, that's gonna take like four months minimum. Uh, Master of Whisperers, John R. Stark. You seem trustworthy. How Stark has always been trustworthy, gentlemen. Um, excuse me, I need, I need piety. How can we get piety? Donate? Can we? Do we do anything? Um. Can we do anything to get just very quick and easy piety? Nothing. Call for dragon riders, but I'd rather grab a dragon myself, obviously. What Drogon? What's he up to these days? Uh, our cousin Drogon. Uh, so we go to our mother, and then we click Drogon. Is he... He's not tamed. Where is he? Wait, he's in Pentos. He's in the Great Arm. We could still try and face him. Obviously, grabbing Drogon will be incredible, because he's strong and the oldest dragon kicking around right now, so he would be disgustingly powerful. Um, what do I do? Let's call for dragon riders, just see if anybody wants to actually join us here. Um, we've got 11,000 men though, my guy. Uh, we can try and get Fussy. Fussy isn't bad. Stewardship plus one gives patient greedy or paranoid, so we're guaranteed either patient or greedy. Um, stewardship plus one, or, or it can give nothing, I believe. Um, do it. Let's game Fussy, I'll take it. Fussy and brooding seems good. King Malus, after listening... Okay, this random lady who we don't care about, halfway across the world, does not matter. I do not care about you. Um, 13 soldiers per month. That's horrible. Like, that's actually horrible. Retinues can't get them because we're in Game of Thrones. Well, those don't really exist. We have a household guard instead. 47. We'll do nothing for now. Nothing. Do not risk. Silviax has built a lair in Pentos. Good. Okay, we'll try and tame that too at some stage, I guess. Let's just wait for our piety tick up. See if we can hire the, the hand. And then between those and a mercenary group, that might be enough to, uh, to, to put them down here. Oh, good. Someone else has been sacked. Oh, our Master of Whispers. Classic. Donichio. You, you love us, and you're a good vassal, and you can be on the council. Right, okay. 48.974. Drogon has built a lair in the Great Arm after someone tried to tame him. What a shocker they didn't succeed. Come on. Uh, do nothing for now. 
Like I said, we don't need to risk any more. We've got enough on our plate rather than pissing off more of our vassals. Can we hire them now? Uh, how much do they cost? We're defending against infidels. Vassals of R'hllor. Hilarious. Could have told us that instead, my friend. I was going to say, they are vassals of the Temple of R'hllor. I said this a couple of episodes ago, but they are basically like the, the, the Swiss Guard or something, you know, for the papacy. So, they're not exactly people we can just call in. Alright then. Um, at least we're a bit more pious, am I right, team? Let's get ourselves, um, some troops. Um, I love that it's like basically one gold per man. Uh, or, or less than that, obviously, 0 0.1 gold per man, because we're getting 2,200, you know what I'm getting at. Um, okay, so, hire those guys, 6.84 gold per month, we're getting 4, so it's only going to cost a 2 gold a month, so we can keep around for a very long time. It's also not enough to win. Um, can we hire some other people as well? 9,000 men. That's still not enough to win, but that's all I can afford, so we're going to go for it. Uh, Belirio, what, what's, what's the worst that can happen? Huh? We lose this war, we're going to lose it anyway, the rate things are going. Right, move here. Let them come to us. How long can we keep these troops up for? Like, two more months, three more months, four more months, five more months. Roughly five more months. Six more months now. Okay, now five more months. They're coming for us. Sit and wait. Reinforce. Let the morale grow. And hope to hell that these axe priests aren't as scary as they would seem. They are as scary as they seem. We've been absolutely destroyed. Not really. Hang on. I want my vassal to pay the debt. He says no. Okay. Actually, things are looking okay. Um... We, we still lost, but that could have been a lot worse. Whatever. Um, fuck you. Fuck off. Get out of here. Why can't, what was I supposed to do? Tell me what I was supposed to do. We, we spent literally... We bankrupted the realm trying to defend that province. Oh, Norvos, you are first on my kill list, my friends. When we get a dragon, they are torched. Norvos will bend the knee first because they've pissed me off with that. That was not... That was not cool. There was no reason for it. It's not theirs. It's not their digital territory. They just grabbed it because they could. And now I'm going to take your entire... I'm going to burn every last bearded priest and every last goddamn axe. I'm going to make a... Hear me out on this one. Novel idea. Let's burn down all of their axes. Let's melt it down into a throne and sit on that. Is that a good plan? I think it's original. I like it. Betrothed can marry. Who? Who are you? Le oh, why do, why do I care? You're a vassal. Make your own mind up. Well, I better wait for the approval of this nine-year-old boy before I get married. Yeah, I'm sure my opinion's going to change your mind. Uh, Nophoros. How about no? Why don't we just... No, you can't get married. How about that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, <laughs> I'm losing my mind a little bit here. I'm so annoyed. I feel bullied. I feel bullied and victimized. We've got good stewardship, though, which I'm fine with. Good stewardship to buy mercenaries. Good intrigue to kill anybody who can't be beaten by mercenaries. Seems like a nice combo. Seems like a nice combo. We're a bit lacking on the martial front, which means if we want to become a dragon rider, obviously we suck. Who are we firing now? Who have we sacked? Oh, it's war against the Archmaster. Council vote in favor. He's going to say no. What can my regency do? Nothing. We can't do anything. He is my regent, isn't he? Yeah. Well, what the fuck are we going to do? Uh, you better stand down, otherwise I'll tell my regent on you. <laughs> well, that's a good threat. Dragon has built another lair because someone tried to catch him and failed. That was actually the Archmaster then, in his, in his eternal wisdom, thought, I know what we need to beat this war. Look at this. They're doing the fucking Macarena over there. Decide where you're going. Stick to it. My god, this is the worst command I've ever seen, and I saw last episode because I was there. Let us hope so. Uh, the levy reinforcement rate is good. Another uh, tried to tame him again. He's that. Oh, he's been eaten this time, you big idiot. Well, there, well, now we need a new guardian. For the love of god. That's so selfish of him. I'm trying to save him. Okay, right. Um, new Archmaster seems pretty good. He's just, he's diligent, sure. Uh, we're looking for someone who's diligent and patient. Actually, you're pretty good as well. And he's honorable. Not for us. Congratulations, my friend. He's also not likely to get eaten by a dragon anytime soon, seeing as he's a landed vassal with really... He's also, you know, Lord Prince is sure. What's he going to get claim on? We've got Pentos. He might overthrow us, I guess. Don't, don't speak too soon. Hey, that's a good start. Actually, the first step to becoming a trained fighter. Does that give us any martial? It does give us martial plus one, which is quite nice. What are we up to? We're up to five now. Hey, we're up to six. Remember what I just said? I lied. Immediately, we have, we have improved once more. What have we got there? Brooding, fussy, poor fighter, paranoid. Temperate is good. Temperate's actually the one thing giving us the most of our stewardship. I didn't notice that before, because I'm apparently an idiot. Okay. What? He decided to give himself the great arm. He decided to give himself Nontalos as well. I've decided to give you uh, over to my dragon for lunch. You bitch. I thought we were friends. Opinion plus 100. Granted a lordship. You must be shitting me. You are getting melted. You are absolutely... I'm going to kill everybody he's ever known or loved. Start fabricating claims right now. Give me everything back. Give me this back. I, I Have we got claims on any of his titles so far? Hang on. Um, what's he got? Pentoshi, Flatlands, and Mirth. We've got 
Neither. But we do have claims on them, so we could just revoke them and then torch him. Uh, ooh, Old Volantis want us to join in a war against who? Cohort. That could be a tempting offer, because then we'd make ourselves a friend. Yeah, let's join him. It'll also stop our vassals doing certain things, because we'll count as being at war. So their scheming is going to be put down a little bit. I'll agree to join him with that. Sure. I mean, they're going to lose, but it doesn't matter. All I care about right now is making sure this kid is raised in an adequate manner. Command to end war. They're, they're, no, no, no. Let them carry on doing their fucking tango over there, because I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the borderline seizure I'm getting from watching these troops flicker forth between provinces. Ready for this? Now in full 3D. Oh, sorry, the autism. Now in full... Look at this trebuchet. I, don't, I knew they were the superior siege weapon. Look at how quickly you can assemble and disassemble them. Look at the size of it compared to that town. Okay. Um, we want to go for... 42 gold for the highest education possible, because of course we do. And then Regency is going to decide on doing something for somebody. Uh, stand down. Obviously, he's going to say no, because he has power here. Whereas I do not, because I'm a 12-year-old boy. What are we going to go for? Intrigue education. Absolutely. How does brooding not affect intrigue? I have no idea. Um, oh, playful. Playful and fussy. I didn't know that. Playful? That seems odd. Uh, brooding. What, what does this one have? Brooding conscientious. Yeah. Um, I actually kind of want to stick to stewardship, seeing as w that's what we're doing well at. And a lot of our stewardship. Sorry, a lot of our intrigue is just coming from the fact that we're paranoid. If we lose that, suddenly we become a very mediocre intrigue character. I'm going to go for stewardship instead. Um, plus, our guy's a stewardship educator. He's a skilled steward. He's got good stewardship. He's honorable. He's just. He's kind. He's all these good things. Let's learn from the master. And that also takes up to 10 uh, stewardship as well, which is quite nice. So, uh, we're already pretty good at it. Like, we're very good at it, and we're 12. So, fingers crossed, over time, a little bit of more martial I would be like. Oh, I don't care about my mother. Let her die in the dungeon so we can narrow our sword, thank you. A little bit more martial I would like, and a little bit more stewardship, and then I think we're set. I, I, I can probably do quite well with what we've been given there. Thanks, Randy Random. While playing with the other children, you favor yourself over the other children. That is interesting. Okay, sure. Uh, what does that give us? Stewardship plus one. You know what? I'll take it. Dynasty and spouse opinion. Who cares? That gives us a little bit more for the thing that we're trying to be educated in. So I'll take that. Who cares what our wife... Oh no, our wife's going to like us a little bit less because we are concerned about the realm rather than her clothes and other such things. What those women like. <laughs> Lord Master, Kwaicho of Nea Senbar reserved the title of the city of Byloth. Good news. Thank you for telling me. Let me put it over here with a list of other things I don't give a fuck about. The only thing I give a, any damn about right now is torching Norvos and torching this man. Where is he? The, uh, any one of these men. This man. Bellirio. House Piranha. House Piranha is going to be House Dead as Dicks. In fact, they're going to be House Dead as Dicks in a second anyway because he's 63. She's 32 and he's got no heir, which is ideal for us. We just kill him. We just kill him. Just kill the man. Uh, he's our bodyguard. Maybe we shouldn't kill him. That seems like the easiest way to get a knife in the heart. Oh, good. I name you Pretender. Lady Liara of the Sunrise Road is the true ruler of Pentos. My half-sister. I will not be blackmailed, and he's backing her as well. Oh, here's the great conspiracy, is it? No, I will not be blackmailed. Get to fuck. We've got most of the vassals on side anyway, and we've got plenty of gold. Right, you guys are doomed. How many troops have we got? Enough. Like, actually enough to win this easily. Okay. Um, bring them over. You boys stand down. I appreciate the effort, but seriously, you're, you're in, in a bad place right there. Right, let's do it. Let's crush them. They, they don't have as many men as us, surely. Uh, well, they might, actually. At a glance, they seem like they actually might. Okay, they, they kind of do. Um, we've just got to take her out. So, immediately head this way, put some good commanders on here, and just crush them all. Uh, these are commanders. This is the Grand Army of Pentos, is it? My character has Ben and Marshall, and he's a tiny boy. Oh, they're all terrible. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to my court. 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 I'm just going to stat the whole round with the world's greatest marshals. We're still going to head over there. Yes, thank you. We turned up just before the battle began. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Archmaster Quentin, you're sacked. Hope you understand why. Uh, you're sacked as well. Uh, you can go too. Thank you. Oh, we need one more person. Okay, speed down. Let's put them on there anyway, just in case. Come on. We need one more person. Respond. Please. Open cloth. There we go. Okay, they're here. Um, right, sack. Oh, they were both women, though, which might be a problem. No, that was not a woman. That was a man. A powerful man with big, strong forearms, I'm sure. Right, kill them all. Take them out. I'm done with this shit. Uh, thank you. That's enough now. We've got enough. Please, no more. We're good. Thank you. Thought it was Robert Baratheon, then. Kill them all. Oh, this is good. 
Uh, absolutely fantastic start. Um, we could just siege the capital here. Now they don't have enough troops to win. <laughs> oh, no, they do. Oh, dear. Um, you know what? Let's just take the capital. She's there. She's in hiding. Coward. House Stark as well, turning against us. What would John say if he could? He was still here? I mean, their descendants of obviously Arya Stark. What would they say? Huh? Traitors. You were traitors to the house. You're rightful kings. Burn them all. Speed up. Kill them. Kill them dead. Kill them dead. Even if those other boys somehow decide to turn around and attack us, it won't matter because our troops will have reinforced to us. No, they won't. Um, Overland Strava come up. Don't care. I, why would I care about that? For the love of God. Okay. She's actually come out of hiding just we're about to take the capital. A change of heart, perhaps. She's, she's become a stalwart defender. No, I must save my people. Uh, we, we could, together we can defeat... Oh, wait, we've been we've been defeated immediately in Clanton Irons. Oh, dear. Um, your grace, Lord from Mir, that Master Norello de uh, established a grand council. He better not molest my lands or absolutely anything else within my lands, to be honest with you. Pause. Kill her dead. For your crimes, Lady Stark, you will be executed at dawn. By which I mean right now. We're going to execute... Well, we could execute her at dawn, but obviously just sending her over to dawn. Uh, exile her. I want to revoke her titles, but we can't because realm authority is not high enough for the kingdom of Pentos. Of course it's not. What, what do we need for that? What do we need to revoke titles? Low. Oh, I'm just going to leave her in there then. Leave her in the prison for three more years. Then we'll take a title away and then we'll send her off to dawn, like I said. Um, you're not getting any coins. Sorry. How are we doing? 13 years of age. 12. Mm, 12 stewardship's not bad. I don't know that we're going to become a particularly notable character, but we're good nonetheless. I don't care. You're not getting my money. That's my money. Um... Ooh, diligent or patient? Fantastic. Um, diligent is better, I would say, in just about every way, unless we want the defense. That gives fear minus 10 as well. Now, obviously, we go diligent. Boom. That's great. That's actually really great. Okay, this character might not be such an ass. I demand that you give me a position on your council. Fine, he likes this anyway, so absolutely welcome aboard. Oh, he did like us. Why not? Fired from the council. Get out of here. That's not my... That was not me. That's <laughs> not me. You asked Lord not a force to teach you how to fight better with the sword. Thank you. Uh, who was that? Oh, this guy. Wait. Poor fighter? I thought only the other guy could teach us how to fight with the sword. I just have no idea. Uh, you see, now we need to ideally sack him as master at arms or replace him with a guy who's better at sword fighting so that, uh, like him, the guy that just went to... Can we not re revoke his title? He is a traitor. Okay, we can deal with him in the future. For now, train us in sword fighting so we can kill you. Um, so that way there's a chance of him... As vengeance, huh? Sack him from the council, he burns our mother. That's a reasonable thing to do. Yeah, why not? I'm sure that won't make you a tyrant. Actually, it didn't make him a tyrant. That's absurd. He's a lunatic. Um, come on and to end the war. Yeah, come on and to end the war then. Council vote in favour. What can we do? Nothing, but we can brand him a traitor if our authority was higher. But hey, we got our swords. You know what? He actually did us a favour. He doesn't even realise it. Um, can we equip these? Can we equip our books? We can. Um, so that gives learning. Equip that one to help out with our education. Uh, one of them gave Vassal opinion, right? Oh, Valyrian opinion. Shit, says me written it as Vassal opinion. That gives Vassal opinion, which is obviously quite nice. Um, good. Hey, we've inherited all the artifacts now, so people like us all the more. And Khaleesi Daenerys, I thought it was scrapped. I thought it was destroyed. I guess not. I guess it was rebuilt. Ruler and married. Okay, we're all 14, so we can get married now. Um, we are looking for, preferably, women who are not of the married persuasion anywhere. Um, and then we'll see what we've... Oh, no, let's do join court. No, no, no. Diplo range, yes, is what I meant to say. Sorry, I meant to change join court to any, but in hindsight, this works out pretty well as well. Uh, you're all garbage. Okay. Join court any. Let's type in wise. She would do. Can we buy her? She, she is a slave. She's enslaved. Can we make an offer to buy? No? I guess she's not for sale, maybe. Um, range marriage. Marry a slave. That seems like a bad idea. Um, Taldoris. Range marriage. Between her and us? No, because we're an infidel, of course. We're going to struggle here. Um, she's 19. Her brother is a lord, so she cannot join our court. She's a Brindleman, so we can't marry her. Uh, she'll do. She's a warlock. Well, she's Carthian. She's not actually a warlock. Um, fight to court. What if we give her an artifact? I'm sure we've got some shit that we're not using. Um, give her Stannis' crown. This is a high price for a wife, especially when she's 24 as well, but I'll do it. Um, kiss her on the cheek or game on diplomacy. Idolizer. I don't want to idolizer. That becomes bad. So, or frail specifically. Um, buy favor. Yes. Give her a crown. Buy a favor. Then invite her over. For the love of God. What a, what a roundabout way to go about things. Oh, there we go. Right. Bring her over. Come on. Nice. Keep it paused. And then arrange marriage her to us. 
She's a lowborn. We get minus 300 prestige. But honestly, she's wise. I'll take it. And she's not a terrible character either. She's got fairly well-rounded stats there. Marry a random Carthian woman who's 10 years older than us. That's fine. Have a son. The dynasty is saved. Well, not yet. It's not, of course. Uh, it's actually far from it. Our heir is a Stark and our uh, son of our, I assume, traitorous sister there. Our sister, we could also betroth off matrilineally. Um, look for someone around her age, preferably. Stark? Doom the Starks to extinction? I am a big fan of that. Marry off one of the final surviving Starks to... Oh, there's a lot of Starks. Okay, that was vengeance on the wrong part of the house, I guess. Ooh, that could be bad. Essosi Valerian Kokoro. Kokoro? Now rides Tormoxen in battle. Got to remember there are other dragon riders in other realms now. Don't bother me with such news again. I'm going to say I'd rather not know at this point. Uh, Carpenter's Daughter, yep. And if we could get Lustful out of that, that would be 10 out of 10. Or, or There we go. Nice. 33% chance. Um, kiss her on the cheek, declare my eternal love her, or Lustful. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Or not. Ah, uh, there we go. Nice. Okay. Well, that's going to increase the chance of uh, hopefully an heir. What does that do for us besides that? Intrigue plus one. I'll take it. That's pretty good. 15 years of old. Uh, 15 years of old, for sure. And... She's pregnant. Excellent. 10 out of 10. I like his crown. Don't like anything else that he's got going on there. It seems like he needs to wash his hair at some point in the past 15 years. That would have been pretty good. Um, she has syphilis. Let's try and gain kind. I'm happy to gain kind. Vassals like it. It's a lot of fear though, isn't it? Yeah, fear minus 20, but we'll go for kind. Nothing. Um, she's pregnant, so obviously we're not going to chuck her in the dungeon because she is carrying the future of House Stark Targaryen. We've got, we've got to keep things going here. I might just shorten that to Stargarian because it's kind of annoying to keep saying that every single time. Summon the tailor. She wants some new clothes. I'm, again, I'm just going to do whatever she wants. Because uh, we're sort of at her mercy right now, huh? Sylvia X, peasants are upset. Or I shall offer them just recompense. She is a dragon. What do they expect? I agree. She is a dragon. What the hell do they expect? All right. Is this final months already? Holy shit. Our boy's not even educated yet. And he's going to have an heir. Balerion. No, he's dead Arion. Fuck. Words fail me. That is a real bad problem, huh? Probably because she was sickly from having ill treatment. Oh, God. That's seriously terrible. How long till he's, he's educated? Second, seventh moon, 83, 52. Come on. A few more months and then we can see if he's any good. Okay. We've put everything we've got into this kid. Let's, let's do it. Skilled steward. I'll take it. That gives him 20 stewardship. Absolutely, I'll take it. We'll take rulership as well. Giving him 22 stewardship. And we'll try and gain some good traits out of that. I'm, I'm fine. I'm absolutely okay with that because we can also go on a foreign tour. We've got uh, Dragon Egg. Oh, apparently, we can... Oh, we inherited our Dragon Egg, did we? Didn't even notice. I was say we just tame a dragon, but apparently we've just grabbed Tormoxen's Dragon Egg there. Um, are there no dragons to tame? Just kicking around? Really? Seems a little odd. Okay. We also want to go on a foreign tour as well, but we'll have to leave that for next time because we have overran quite massively. But we've got through his education, most of the points, so now we can carry on. Vengeance... Fire and blood, cake and wine. My God, I have a list of people I need to kill. Thank you all for watching. Let's leave this one here. And a big thank you, of course, to the patrons, without which none of this series would be possible. The channel would be dead and I would be upside down in a river. Thank you to Harik, Alpha Scuff, Asuna Kirito, Atmosis, Average Gamer 419, Banyol Sidini, Conspired T, Crazy Pat, Croesus, Escape, Facundo Vasquez, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Michael Mullen, Necrofilm, and Pelvis Presley, Sean Thornton, Smirtworm, Tom Terry 18, Bacchus, Bacchus, Wolfson, and Zazzy 7011 for their support in the Santee on Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for such a grand show of faith in this channel. Thank you for getting us to where we are today because, you know, I had to have shut it down like almost. Uh, I was going to say almost a year ago, but that's when the channel started. So it would have been not long after that, to be fair. And a big thank you as well to Gray, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Llewellyn Thomas, Asaro, Betamus Max, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Conny 2 and 7, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, Genji Zerka, Haji Dumas, Hancock, Harry McGowan, Icy the Great, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Yoran DeVries, John Holiday, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Nathan Flores, Matthew, Nick, Panther Pearl, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, Sir Thor the Swede, Shari, Wolfie, Zico, Adam Person, Sidini, Fraser Brennan, Noah Gallimore, and the Insane Pickle. Thank you all for your support as well.